I didn't know Dark Shadows was unique. I knew that it was somewhat peculiar and that we were finding our way, but I didn't have a lot to compare it with. It was um, in the relatively early days of videotape, so that there was no editing. I mean, in terms of an actor, possibly if you fell down the stairs and broke your neck, tape would stop, but it had to be, uh, that was still iffy. It had to be uh, something really serious, and generally for a technical problem, we would stop. So I knew that it was ambitious, but I had done only theater work before then. I had not done, um, I'd done only brief shows, you know, one hour live shows, but not uh, anything that went on day after day after day and was so ambitious. Um, in retrospect, of course, it's easy to see how unusual it was. But I think that's the kind of thing you don't really appreciate at the time. You just get on with the job at hand and you don't really evaluate. So this happened later that we started to think, whoa, <laughs> what an interesting thing that was. <laughs> I have a clear memory in those early days of Joan Bennett opening the double doors to Collinwood and saying, welcome to Hollywood. Now, it's possible that I invented this, but my memory of it is so clear that I can't believe that it didn't at least happen once during rehearsal. Uh, Joan was one of the most professional people I've ever worked with. A professional is sort of bandied about a bit, but it said that an amateur is someone who practices until he, he gets it right, and a professional practices until he cannot get it wrong. And Joan did. She would rehearse with us all, she would run lines, she did her homework, she was wonderful. Humorous moments from Dark Shadows, I am, I mean, most of the day was fairly humorous. Uh, um, some of it is, is probably not, not suitable for family television or any other kind of television. But uh, things that, that are, are funny, which, I mean, probably at the time we thought were truly hilarious, uh, are very likely not terribly funny in the retelling. I know that darling Louis Edmonds, and I've said this many times before, so he'll forgive me, Louis Edmonds is probably one of my favorite people in the whole world. But frequently, Alexandra, with whom I became very good friends as a result of the show, Alexandra and I had uh, scenes with Louis, and Louis just made us giggle. And we, we would frequently have to almost turn our backs to the camera to stop, just to stop laughing. He was so wonderful, so grand, and so thoroughly charming. But in terms of, uh, as I say, specific hilarious incidents, the things that I remember, I believe, really are, really are not funny in the retelling. They were wonderful at the time they happened. I did a play not too long ago, and some Dark Shadows fans came to the play. It was not something I think they would normally probably have come to, and I was, I really was quite touched. Um, just thanks. I mean, but it's, it's very heartfelt. I'm very grateful, and I feel very privileged.